Welcome back to another Book Talk with Tracy. Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about anthologies. And there's a reason for that, actually. Um, there's a new anthology out at the time of the recording of this particular book talk called Men Who Matter. Um, it's a compilation of stories about, um, you know, honorable men, I guess you could say. And I wrote a piece about my own dad who, you know, wasn't always considered honorable, I guess, by some people. Um, but, you know, he certainly uh, finished life well. Uh, and I would say was a very honorable man toward the end of his life. So I wrote a piece that was accepted uh, into that anthology called It's How You Finish. And um, I'm really pleased and proud of that particular piece. So I thought, well, you know, today would be a great day to talk about anthologies. That one, of course. Um, I don't have a paperback cover for that yet because the paperback isn't out yet. Um, but I, you know, wanted to mention that along with some others that I've contributed to. Um, because anthologies are a great way to, uh, not only for authors to write short pieces and, and sort of um, boost their publishing creds, but they're great for readers, you know, especially if you like certain topics, if you want encouraging um, short reads. And of course, you know, anthologies could be uh, fiction, they can be nonfiction. Usually we think of nonfiction, you know, sort of the chicken soup for the soul type uh, thing that's sort of encouraging. Uh, um, so, you know, I, I have uh, contributed to a number of anthologies over the years. Uh, I actually don't have any pieces in, but I did help with the editing process is this one called Easter Stories and More, um, put out by Inscribe Press. And then I do have one in, in this uh Christmas Stories and More, also put up by Inscribe Press, called No Gravy for Christmas. Uh, it's a short story about one time when we had a disastrous event <laughs> when I was cooking Christmas dinner and it didn't turn out so well. Um, some devotional books, this one in particular, Uplifting Devotionals. Um, I've got, a, a, I think, five short pieces. Um, it's all various Canadian authors uh, who've written devotional um pieces that were put together. Um, so got a few pieces in that one. Uh, Seven Essential Habits of Christian Writers. I believe I have two pieces in this book. Um, again, so this is nonfiction and this is definitely targeted more toward writers as opposed to people who would want to read something encouraging. And um, I've had a few other uh, pieces accepted into anthologies. I think the very first anthology that I had a piece accepted into was one called uh, 25 Years in the Rearview Mirror. Yeah, so it was uh, kind of just on writing again and and what the kind of things I've experienced uh, was my, what my piece was about, but it, it was sort of a, a compilation of various authors uh, writing about that. And then I've had some fiction in anthologies as well. A couple put out by um, a group called the John 316 Marketing Network. I believe that the first chapter from Conspiracy of Bones is in one of those. And then, um, and, oh yeah, that one's called Taste and See. And then the second anthology, Taste and See 2, <laughs> uh, I believe I have a chapter from Windover Marshdale in that one. You know, I've got lots of anthologies on my phone because I do enjoy reading on my phone uh, these days as opposed to having, you know, a physical book. But they're they're nice to have either way. You can have it sitting on the side table and pick it up. You can have it in a different room in the house. <laughs> I was going to say the bathroom because a lot of people like to read short pieces in there. <laughs> but I do enjoy having things on my phone because then I can read them wherever I might be. Uh, in any case... Uh, I just wanted to talk about that a little bit more today and encourage you, you know, if you if you enjoy short readings, um, maybe check out some anthologies. They seem to be very popular these days. There's a whole uh, rush of people putting out anthologies and um, because they are popular and easy to read. And uh, I would encourage you to head over somewhere and check out Men Who Matter. Uh, it was compiled by Ruth L. Snyder and Sheila Webster. So um, you can look that up if you want and, uh, and check out that, uh, that particular book. 
So I'm going to say goodbye for now and I'll see you again next time on Book Talk with Tracy. Please head over to my website. It's tracykraus.com and you can look up all of my books and plays there. Uh, leave a comment. I love it if you follow me on social media or whatever. So um, until next time, we'll see you. Bye.